Hello everyone, this is Nancy from Fish Kisses and I am coming to you guys today with my very first August plan with me uh, for my bullet journal. And um, for this month I am choosing watercolor as my medium for my spread. And um, I don't want to bore you guys too much with my watercoloring, but I did want to just show one page um, how it kind of came together. Um, I do not have any technique uh, when it comes to watercoloring. I've seen a few videos. This is a new medium that I'm working with, and uh, this is actually my very first watercolor set that I've ever um, worked with. So, um, just playing around with different things. Um, like I said, I have watched some videos, and so, yeah, I'm just kind of figuring things out and um, seeing how it comes together. But I, I will say that I do love it. I do love how the colors blend together. Um, I, I just, I like the feel, the warmth of it all. It seems... Um, and then it dries so fast that it just it's just really easy to work with. So um, my theme this month is under the sea, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, my husband and I are going to Tulum for our 10 year anniversary. And so I am just all about the beach right now. I'm really excited um, to go to that part of Mexico. I've never been before the Caribbean and um, definitely have my brain under the sea so uh, I wanted to work with really warm colors that represented the sea for me blues greens um, aqua but you know just kind of went crazy with it all so um, this is kind of my end product right here as far as my background so now I'm just kind of you know I, I didn't really know what I was doing at the time it kind of just came out. Um, I knew I wanted to incorporate some plants, so I just went ahead and started with what I thought was kind of some seaweed. Um, also, I wanted, I was thinking of palms at the same time. I, I had a lot of things in my head. Uh, plus, this being my first video, I was a little concerned with the recording, and I found myself thinking more of the recording and not what I was doing, and so um, this is a little just kind of not necessarily thrown together but all over the place and I almost kind of feel like it's a hot mess but I like the way it turns out in the end so um and that's all that matters <clears throat> um I've been watching these watercolor tutorials on YouTube and um they are very very helpful and of course just playing with the watercolor playing with the brushes uh is the best thing to do um I've been working in a little watercolor sketchbook that I have going on and um also here in my bullet journal, of course, in, with the bullet journal, the pages are, are thinner, and so it doesn't quite, you know, uh, absorb the water the way the water, my watercolor sketchbook does, you know, with that thick paper, that heavy bound paper. Um, but um, it still kind of works. I'm, I'm, I'm a little surprised. I was hesitant to, to try it, but um, once I did, I was like, yeah, yeah, no, this, this really works. So, um, <laughs> I really messed this one up right here. I just, it, it both of these little, these little ferns or, or whatever they are, just did not come out right. And again, um, still working with that medium. Sometimes it comes out a little too much or not enough. And it, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to control, but I am learning and um, I, I like the challenge. I like the challenge that it gives me. So, don't want to talk throughout this whole thing. I will pop in uh, in and out, but um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of let the music take over and let you enjoy my August spread.
Okay, so here you can pretty much see how my, spread, um, my layout has come together. Uh, this is my August cover page that I'm working on, and um, it just, uh, it's just coming together nicely. I can kind of see where I am now. I, I know that I'm working with my under the sea theme, and um, even though I'm under the sea, uh, yeah, there's, there's still a sun that you can see under the, under the sea, <laughs> so I am guessing I'm not too far under the sea. Uh, anyway, um, all right, so here I have my brush pen that came with my uh, Koi set, and uh, writing with it is tricky. I, I'm still learning how to do it, but I do like how the letters come out. I love, I don't know what it is about the watercolor and the brush pen, but just the way it comes out and the way it <clears throat> flows, um, I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's like I said, it is a little tricky with the water and how it spreads all over the place, but um, uh, I just, you know, I've, I'm starting to truly really get the hang of it. And so, so yeah, um, working with this brush pen is, uh, is going to be a lot of fun when I go to Tulum. Um, I love how the water just stays right in there and uh, it comes with that little cap. So when you're done, you just pop it on there and you can go. Uh, you can always have a little water with you. Um, on the go, so that's gonna really come in handy, and um, I don't think I'll need a, hardly any more brushes other than that one, and maybe just maybe two others uh, for that whole trip. So, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of let you go back and enjoy. So, I'll be back. Okay, we are okay. All right. God bless you. Bye bye now.
Okay, so here I am starting my uh, my monthly layout. I'm really enjoying the vertical bullet journal layout uh, versus the uh, horizontal monthly spread. Did I say that right? Yeah, vertical. <laughs> and um, kind of messed up just a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, I'll just take it to the next side. And um, although August is kind of a big month for me, um, even if I don't have space to write it all in, I can always just use uh, post-its or something to get it all in there. But um, I went ahead and, and just kind of went with this again. Um, on the other side, I do my tracker and um, my habit tracker. I uh, started tracking a few more habits this last month and it really helped and uh, I was a lot more on it than usual so I went ahead and went with the exact same uh, tracker from last month and the same things I track my running uh, slash walking I track my biking I track my swimming and now it's gonna be swim slash paddleboarding because I just recently acquired a paddleboard and I thought that was really cool uh, what else? Let's see. <laughs> I track my flossing. I track my water intake, uh, making sure I drink and uh, my goal every day. And uh, and then also I track my, my plexus. Um, plexus is a health wellness that I uh, am a part of. And so I uh, there's a drink that I drink in the morning, some pills during the day, and then my probiotic at night. And um, I just want to make sure that I stay on top of that because it really keeps me on track with my weight loss and with my energy and just overall health and wellness. So, uh, yeah, so I don't have a lot of uh, pages for my monthly spread. Um, after this tracker page, uh, I have a, a brain dump and my August memories, and then I go into my first weekly spread. Um, since I am starting work, I know I'm going to be a little bit more consumed with my time. And so um, I just kind of want to see how August plays out going back to work and my bullet journal at the same time. I feel like my bullet journal is going to be, um, it's going to be my release or my, uh, uh, what do you call it? Just um, my reward. <laughs> Thank you. At the end of the day, you know. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, Alrighty, so I'm just going to go ahead and let it go for the rest of the video, and I hope you enjoy my August plan with me um, spread. Bye-bye!